Innisfil Sylvan Lake, followed by Red Deer North. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today, the government announced a seniors advocate, which is quite interesting since the government has promised a seniors advocate since the Premier's leadership race. As well, my own private member's Bill 208, the Seniors Advocate Act, is set to be debated in the legislature today, which would have created an independent seniors advocate. Now, maybe this announcement is a huge coincidence, but one has to wonder about the timing. To the Associate Minister of Seniors, was today's announcement an attempt to avoid debate on Bill 208 today? Or was it to boost the Premier's image for the leadership review this weekend? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I didn't realize the question period was a time to debate uh, and talk about private bills, but if this member wants to talk about this, you know, we should be shooting off the fireworks. Any time that we can increase advocacy on behalf of our seniors' population, it's a great thing. It's a great time in Alberta today. You know, when we had this act proclaimed this morning, I had many, many issues across the province that were brought to me by seniors and their families that will have an office to turn to. This is a great opportunity, Mr. Speaker. I look forward to the other side taking the opportunity to support Bill 208, making the advocate independent. Given that those who advocate for seniors already shuffle from one place to another to another to another within the health ministry, can the Associate Minister of Seniors explain to Albertans why the government is not interested in creating an independent seniors advocate? Well, Mr. Speaker, you know, I've, I've had the, uh, the opportunity, unlike this member, in, from you know, dealing with previous ombudsmen. You know, the ombudsman doesn't ask if you're 64 and a half or 65 and a half. He's an independent officer of this assembly. You know that. Everybody knows that. There's no, there's no need to create another duplicate office, an independent office for Albertans to go to. It exists in the ombudsman's office right today. This is, a, this is a new opportunity for seniors to help navigate through the difficult system of our health system right now. We all have had members that we've helped out, Mr. Speaker, over the years. How about those that don't have a family member? Mr. S Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, that's a very interesting comment, especially given that the Human Services Minister created an independent child and youth advocate because oh. children in care need a voice independent of government. Oh. Can the Associate Minister responsible for seniors explain why our most vulnerable seniors don't deserve the same protection as children in care? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Speaker, what I'm interested in and what my colleagues are interested in in the government side is to increase the advocacy on behalf of the seniors of this province and to help navigate their way through difficult issues with the health system. And, and at times those exist within, you know, whether you have a family member helping out or not. We need, we need this office to be created as soon as possible. We've, it's been, like the men, member said, it was one of my mandated issues. Here, promise kept, promise, promise made, promise, made, promise, promise kept, delivered.